Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I felt led to come out and share some things with you to hopefully encourage you um, and just let you know if you're struggling, if you're feeling like the world is caving in around you, you're not alone. There's a lot of people going through the same things right now. And uh, I just wanted to share something I shared with my daughter a few days ago and then a dream uh, that actually goes along with this metaphor so my daughter called, she was pretty upset. She was struggling with some things at work, some girls who just uh, were not being very kind to her. And as we were talking about things, uh, I, re I was reminded of a time when my husband and I were walking in, um, in this tunnel. We, we try to get out as often as we can and go out on these rails for trails. They're paved uh, trails. Uh, that used to be train tracks and so uh, in one on one of the trails there's actually a tunnel and I call it the creepy tunnel and we were walking through this tunnel which is about a quarter of a mile long and it's there's lights in it but it's very dim and it just it just has a very creepy feeling and while we were in the tunnel the lights went off now I don't know if you've ever been in a train tunnel but when the lights go off you can't see anything it was pitch black the only thing that we could see was the light at the very end of the tunnel. And this this paved trail, there were edges to it. So if we got too close to the edge, you could go off the edge of it uh, into some rocks and water. So we had to be careful to keep our eyes on that light so that we didn't stumble. And I shared that with my daughter and I was explaining to her metaphorically how this world is becoming very dark. And at times it can feel like the darkness is just closing in on us. And we have to be careful not to focus on that darkness, not to turn to the right or to the left and, and focus on these, these horrible things that are happening around us. Because if we do, we, we risk getting off track. We risk going off the trail. And the, the light at the end of our tunnel, church, is our blessed hope that is the light the hope that we have that the day is coming when we're going to receive our glorified bodies uh when when this world and and all of the sin and all of the uh the darkness are going to be left behind and we're going to be transformed into something new titus chapter 2 verses 12 through 14 tells us about our blessed hope instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly, and worldly desires and to live sensibly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify himself a people for his own possession zealous for good deeds so our blessed hope we are waiting for that and and we have to remain focused on what we have to hope for what we have to look forward to the enemy wants us to look back the enemy wants us to look to the right and to the left all the distractions all the things going on around us but god wants us to focus on him and what he has for us and if we will do that, it will keep us on track. Uh, just like in that tunnel, it will keep us on track and we will be able to reach the end without falling off the edge. And that reminded me, as I was thinking of that, of a dream I was given years ago. And in this dream, my husband and I were in that creepy tunnel. And I was uh, looking toward the end of the tunnel to the light. And I was, we were really seeking to get out of that tunnel and we as we were working our way toward the end of the tunnel i kept saying this out loud we for we walk by faith not by sight we walk by faith not by sight i kept quoting that in the dream as we until we got to the end of that tunnel and that's what i was quoting in that dream is a scripture from second corinthians chapter five if you want to turn there and I'm going to read real quickly verses uh, 1 through 8. And this is what where Paul is talking about our walk with the Lord. 
and uh, how there are things in this life that we uh, are not going to understand, but it is by faith that we continue walking in, in belief in God's word and trusting in his promises, no matter what our eyes see, no matter what our ears hear, or no matter what we feel. We don't live by our feelings. We live by faith in the word of God, in his promises. And so this is what it says, 2 Corinthians 5, verses 1 through 8. For we know that if the earthly tent, which is our house, is torn down, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For indeed, in this house we groan, longing to be clothed with our dwelling from heaven, inasmuch as we, having put it on, will not be found naked. For indeed, while we are in this tent, we groan. Meaning when he says tent, he's talking about this body, this fleshly body. Being burdened because we do not want to be unclothed, but to be clothed. So that what is mortal will be swallowed up by life. Now he who prepared us for this very purpose is God, who gave us the spirit as a pledge. Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are of good courage, I say, and prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. So our brothers and sisters in Christ in Paul's day were looking forward to being with the Lord. They were looking forward to being clothed with this new body, uh, of an immortal body that couldn't be tempted and uh, couldn't experience death or pain or suffering. And we have that to look forward to. We really do. And I encourage you, church, to remain steady and, and focused on the hope we have. Because if, if we get our eyes off of that, if we turn away and look at the things around us, the enemy will be able to get us into places of discouragement and, uh, and fear and doubt even. And we know that there are going to be a lot of things coming on this earth. The enemy knows his time is short and he is doing everything he can to cause people to stumble, especially Christians. He wants to pull them away from the Lord. So we have to, we have to be diligent. We have to be diligent. And I hope, I pray that you'll take this message to the Lord, ask him for confirmation. Uh, but as always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.